Yeah, I think toxic positivity is something that I especially have noticed, and I think more people are starting to to be aware of after um, the COVID-19 pandemic, where, you know, suddenly we're thrown into this really challenging situation. And, you know, the impulse for a lot of people was to be like, this is great. There's still a silver lining. <laughs> you know, there's still lessons to be learned, which maybe there are. Um, but I think only focusing there really shuts down people being able to actually process and move through some of the difficulties or the, some of the challenges that they might be facing. And I think it really distracts us from being able to fully sit with what is actually going on for people, even if it's not affecting us, right? So when we think about, um, you know, with the, the current um, sort of social um, uprisings around um, anti-racism, you know, I, I've heard a lot of folks want to go into this direction of like, well, we're, we're talking about it, right? At least we're having a conversation. At least, you know, people are saying anti-racism. And yes, those things are great, but those things should also not block off the rest of the dialogue about, okay, but what does that actually mean? Or how are people impacted? Um, I think around, um, uh, you know, around ableism or around different kinds of um, identities that are thought to be like, oh my gosh, that's really challenging to, to go through that situation. There can be all of this emphasis on, well, how is it positive? How is it, how is it good? How is there a lesson? How is it inspirational? Or, you know, things like that. And, it, and again, it really just kind of passes us right over thinking about what are the actual impacts? What is the trauma that people might be sitting with? What is the harm that people might be sitting with? And so when we're in a dialogue, um, I think being able to just note for people or ask questions around like, what is really hard about this conversation? What's hard to accept? Because people usually when they go into toxic positive, positivity, they're not trying to be toxic, right? They're just trying to to not have to deal with what might feel overwhelming. And so I think this is, this is really, really um, good to be able to challenge within yourself, but also to gently meet people where they're at. You know, I noticed that this is hard for you. I noticed that, you know, someone being angry or someone um, being really harmed around a certain identity. I know that that's hard to sit with. And can we sit with it, right? Can we figure out how we can have a conversation about this? Um, without feeling so overwhelmed about what the reality might be.